All right, guys, we're back. We've got Geraldine High School versus Waikato Dio uh, Blue. Um, this is the final for the losers' side, and the winner of this will move on to the grand final with one life. So what that means is they'll have to beat the winner from the winner's side twice if they want to take the title home. Okay, the first matchup is Caitlin. Alan versus Bailey. Bailey's from Geraldine. He's been uh, playing pool for two years as well. His first time on these tables. He usually plays Cozy Club tables. And Caitlin's been playing probably uh, about a year now. Yep. Had six months training and she's coming along pretty good. Yeah, she's had some training with her brother Jason Allen. He's pretty, he's pretty accomplished pool player himself. So. Be inter interesting to, sh to see. I see Sharon's watching. Sharon's the mother of those two. Very proud mother, I believe. This team's from the South Island, drilled in. Bailey plays in a lot of the Canterbury Interclub tournaments, which is a, quite a big um, association down there. So he's playing against some of the best players in Canterbury. And he pots a pretty good ball. Bit of a cluster there, Jimmy. Um, it's not much that he's got. That he hasn't left himself much here. Probably the seven in the middle, if you can see that. Yeah, I call this uh, putting yourself into trouble. Yeah. I love it when uh, I'm playing somebody and they do this sort of stuff. It just opens up the table for you. And saying that, both both balls are in clusters down the back there. Looks like Caitlin might have a bit more of an opportunity to break it out with the 15 there. She's got the um, the 13 there as well. It makes it a little bit easier when you've got a few of your own balls close to the cluster. Yeah, Caitlin's got the right temperament for the game. Where did she learn that from? Of her brother? Probably. Her brother's a very... A very good player, very she's dedicated player. Yeah, and she's very hungry to learn, you know. She wants to learn everything there is about Paul. She told me that before she came, actually, that she was practicing all this morning, so she would have been up early. Yeah, she might just struggle at the start, but once, you know, one day it's just all going to click and it's just going to open, you know, open all up. Okay, she's got an open table here now. Yeah, it's looking good. That two's just gone up by that seven. It might make it a little bit difficult. If she's smart, she should be able to clear this. Just stop shot here. Nice shot. Okay. 13 ball and come out to the center of the table. Yeah. Which would give her two or three options, different options. Not too hard, perfect. She wants to get rid of that uh, 10 and 12 pretty early, I think. Going away from her work now. 15 would have been the shot to take here. Now she's away from her work and has to play a hard 15. Yeah, it's going to be tough. She's going to. She might uh, have a natural angle here for a, a nice angle on the 10. Oh, a little bit hard. Good pot. Very good pot. Yeah, those aren't easy on the rail, and it was quite a long shot. She can see, there we go, the 10. Yeah, I think this is uh, Bailey's chance to m bump that two out of the way or off the rail.
You know, the option is the six, yeah. Come bring the white ball out to the middle of the table and pot the seven and the two without hitting any balls. That's good weight. Oh. Good weight, perfect weight. Okay, you can just run the seven in here. Two and an easy finish, five black. Let's just hope he doesn't go too far past the eight. If he can, he might want to hold it on the eight there as well. That's the one. Just push that black in behind the ten there, so he's made it a little bit harder. If he's got a good angle, he, he should be able to come out for the eight in the top right corner. Good to see Jojo watching again. Braden watching from home. Kaylin, how's it going? Devin. And the word is Jojo's been helping these um, Cantabrians. She's down there, staying down there, and they're good friends with um, the Geraldine lot. And it's uh, good to see she's been helping, you know, spread the game out. Yeah. Pass on your knowledge, what you know of the game, and it's been good for them, I, I reckon. So well done, Jojo. Caitlin's got a good chance here. A nice screw back would, would do well. Oh. She hasn't made it easy for herself. Tough shot here, Jimmy. What do you reckon? Yeah, there's nowhere really to hide. Maybe double the 10 ball. Yeah, double it into the top left corner there. Oh, he's missed the five. Oh, he's gotten lucky. Oh, no. Caitlin does not look happy. It's a get out of jail free card, those ones. Very unlucky here for Caitlin. And a tough situ situation to get out of. She's just going for the hit here. She hasn't called a pocket. She's got to hit this quite hard to straighten up a bit. She's hitting it low, which is good. Look at that. Good nice. hit. Go in. Oh, you gave her a point. Now these shots here, when the when the object falls over the pocket. Ideally, you should be able to get anywhere on the table with these with these shots, but they're not the easiest to master. So we'll see how he gets position on that eight. Yeah, tough when it's over the pocket and you can't really hit the white ball. Oh, he's played it nicely. That's yeah, that's good. Yeah, I've watched a bit of these these three three people here play this team, 
and they play pretty good, you know, a little bit more coaching and they'd be well on their way to be, you know. Yeah, that's right. Some of the tough juniors to beat. Yeah, I mean, we have to remember this isn't their, their um, the rule set that they normally play by, so they're, they're doing very well. Look at that. Okay, next up we've got Lydia and Alex Jones. Now it looks like we've got one gun from the north and one gun from the south, so this will be a very interesting game. Good break there, but I think it's gone dry. Alex is going for the nine. Now her 13 looks a bit tied up behind the eight and the six. She's bumped that out, looks like it could be on. She'll play the, the 12 here and Maybe move those, um, the 14 and the 15 around a little bit. Great shot. That was a great shot, all right? Yeah. Now she's got a good angle here to get him behind the 10 ball. she want to get that 30 now as soon as she can, I think. Well, uh, I think if you get him behind the 10 ball, that's on for the opposite corner pocket. A good angle here will on the 10 ball. No, oh. she hasn't got the angle. Not too bad. That's not bad. Still have to go for the 10 on this one, eh? Yeah, can cut yeah. the 10 in and stay on that side of 13. No, she's going around that way. Oh, she's going for the other corner. Yeah. Off two rails and back in behind. Look at this. Kiss. Oh, nice. Too bad. Nice little shot. That that eight on now. That's the only. That's the other problem. A little bit of a screw back here. Oh. She's giving herself a hard okay. thirteen. I think that eight is on in that corner, in the same corner. Very delicate shot here. Playing a bit of left to check it up, I think. Oh, drop. That's a good shot. Okay, now we've got a ref coming in. Now that eight is very close to that two. We've got uh, our good friend Hornetito riffing this shot. So if that white ball hits that two and the eight goes in, it's a foul and it's a loss of game. She went for the double and it's in. Wow, Great shot. shot. And she put the marker there. So Great shot. It wasn't a fluke. Look where the marker is. <laughs> wow, what a shot, Jimmy. Just like a dad? <laughs> yeah, I think so, eh? It's a 10-1. Great start for Dio. Yeah, she'll be quite happy with that. Julia. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, who's next up? Oh, who's next up?
Uh, we've just updated the scores for you guys at, at home. Waikato Dio Blue with 26 points and Geraldine High School with 17 points. Yeah, and this format is based on uh, the balls you put and, uh, and you get 10 points for a win and every ball you put you get a point. Yep. So if, you're in the lose, if you lose and you put five balls, you get the five points. That's right. It's not necessarily about winning every game here. You could win a game 10-1. You could win a game from 10-1 all the way up to 10-7. So the points are very important. If you can't go for the win, you've got to get those points. It's broken that up nicely. It's going to have to take that three unless you can see the four for the, the plant on the seven. He's playing the plant. Great shot. Great shot. All his balls are now out in the open. That one is probably the hardest. Yeah, maybe you should look at the one four now. Yeah. Nobody likes playing those plants though, Jimmy, so... Yeah, that's true. I guess he's trying to secure those points. He could play the one in the middle, or the one in the corner, if he can get behind it. He's going to play a safety here. Hide him behind the four somewhere. Oh, that's oh, a club New Zealand yeah, shot right bad. there. Not too bad. A very nice shot, covered the pocket nicely. Now it's Alex's 13 ball that's in trouble. Oh, she might have rushed that one. That eight ball's a little bit tied up here, Jimmy. Yeah, so you should look at putting the four now, coming and kicking the eight in yep. the back. Just a little bit of side. A little bit of side off the four. So he can screw back here. Mm, now he's left himself very thin cut on the four. He could break it up here too, though. Okay, he's going to go off the rail here, put the one. Slide in behind the four. See, even, the, even though he missed that, Jimmy, it still made it very difficult for Alex to, to clear. Sharon, do I sound like Logan? It's Miguel. really needs to get that 12 away from that 8 ball as well as finding out a way to pot that 13. She could play a safe Jimmy and pot that 1 ball and move the white ball up the table but she tried to move it just then. Yeah, tough finish here. Yeah. yeah, very tough. She's going to bump that 12 out now, no? Oh. Okay, here's Bailey's chance to uh, open up the black, maybe. What would you do here, Miguel? It's, it's tough. I'd probably try to take the one first and then uh, bump into the black and try move it out, but you gotta go. you got to go all in on this one. That 8 and 12 don't make it easy, so you've got to be a little bit aggressive and, and move the balls around. Yeah, the shot here would be take the 1, but that 13 in the way to yeah. kiss the 8 ball, 12 ball, as you said. So he's going to take the 4, I think. It's probably not a bad thing that... Oh. Now Alex has a chance here to move that 1 over the pocket. 
and play a bit of a safety game. Now for Alex, plays a safe and lets him pot his one. It's a great shot. Oh, look at this. She's got it. Definitely got both of them. Okay, so if Alex does get ball in hand, then what would she, she do? It's tough. She's got two very tough um, balls on the table. Okay, he can but go in behind the four here, hit the four, get his ball in the open, and he should be still okay. Look at that. Great shot. Great shot. Okay, so Alex here. She's just got to hit one of her balls, I think. Did the ball hit the rail? Okay, no, she doesn't want to do this. What about that? Oh, she's hit that beautifully. Shot. Great shot. She snookered him on the four now, so he's only got the one. Okay, so he's got to pot this one and open up the black for him to win. This is the shot. This is the money shot here, Jimmy. If he can open up that black. Just died on the cushion, didn't it? He's still got an angle to work here to work that black. Pop the four and kiss him to the black. It's hard to predict where that black's gonna go, but. He's missed it. He's played a little bit too much top, I think. A little bit too much top spin. This is interesting now. This eight might have to be a little bit of a Hail Mary, I think. Sure he, yeah, he probably wants to put the white ball in the area where he's standing now. Out there is no good. It's not an easy shot, this one, but... Perfect shot. Yeah, she's got the potting ability to pot balls like that all the time. Like I said, she's probably one of our best junior potters that are around. Oh. Another cut. Cut that 13 in for the 8 in the same corner. Okay, this is the pressure ball. The money ball. Can she get the money? Look at that. That's a great shot, Alex. Perfect position on the 8. What a game. What a match. only 13. I wish I Look was that. that good at 13. So we've got Julia playing Alex Jones next. Next matchup, Julia versus Alex Jones. Julie's been playing for two years as well. Also from the same background. The club's New Zealand player. Plays in the junior nationals, the ladies nationals. Canterbury, South Canterbury. And her first time on these tables. They're not playing like it's their first time on these tables, Jimmy. They've been playing very well. 
Yeah, they've obviously got the right technique for potting balls. Nice shot. She might have to play a safe here, I think. Yeah, she's got the safety game. She knows how to play the safety game. There you go. Great shot. Wow, look at that. Still left Julia the seven ball over the corner here. Okay, let's see how she cues. Scores have just been updated, 24-36. Okay, so I'm going to try and move a few balls here. No, they're both on. Well, oh, look at good. this. Yeah, yeah, that's good uh, spotting from Alex Jones. And this girl's only been playing for two years too. Just imagine five years' time. Well, oh. a little bit unlucky. Nine might be still on. She could come off the cushion. I think look I think that's what she's gonna do here. Oh no. Look at that. Okay, pocket for the black. Go around and have a look, Alex. Mm. Have a look where that black's gonna go. Maybe in that yeah, that corner that she's at right now, I think. I think it should go past the six. She want to get behind that black. Oh, she's missed that. You see, this girl's got a good temperament for the game. Oh, no, she's missed. She still has, uh, you know, right attitude, I'd say. Double on the 10 here, Jimmy, but that 8. Yeah. Might as well go down fighting. I think that 8 might go into the top right corner there where Alex is standing, if she can... She'll be cutting this. No, she, oh, went she went for, for the 50, double. 50, yeah. <laughs> half double, half cut. <laughs> the good thing about it, she has got six points already, you know, and a 10 0 uh, drubbing. Yeah, that's right. Those points are very important when it comes to these Valley tournaments. Now, these are the situations you want to avoid. When when your opponent has a bunch of their balls left and you've only got one, it's very easy for their opponent for your opponent to uh, play safeties or run out with no traffic around. Yeah, exactly. If you're going for that finish, you really want to plan that out and and, and almost guarantee that you're going to get it. Oh, look at that! That's changed the game. Yeah, still got to find a, a pocket for that black ball. She'll have to get behind it, I think, Jimmy. She'll have to get behind the eight and pot it in the corners closer yeah. to us here. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, so she can follow through here. And I think she's got the right angle to do that. I think she's got to do a stop shot. I think she's going to try to get in that. Yep, bump the three. Ooh, oh, God, I think it does go it. in that corner there. Yep, nice it shot. does. Great shot. Great nice shot, shot. Alex. Great shot. Hey guys, 
guys, uh, just the last match we'll go put on before lunch is Whanganui A against Narawake Green. So it's Whanganui A against Narawake Green, please. Can one person from either team please come up to the front of the control? Okay, the last one before we put on before lunch. Lunch is at half 12 as well, please, guys. What are their surnames, Bernie? Alright, this is the current score. 46 to Dio Blue and 28 to Geraldine High School. Going for that 15. It's the only ball that's on. Oh. Yeah, bigs are the way to go here, Jimmy. Yeah, so the thing that Caitlin's just got to remember, being in a team environment, just get balls. In case you don't want to lose 10 0, that will bring Geraldine right back into the game. Yeah, that's right. It's hard, it's hard to forget about the win when you're playing these Valley tournaments. One ball can make a massive difference. Okay, Lydia is 16. She plays a lot of Clubs New Zealand pool. She's been playing for five years in Clubs New Zealand. First time at a Messe tournament, first time on these tables in tournament play. She plays first oh. division for Canterbury Club, Inter Club. Not sure what happened there, Jimmy, but uh, that six might be on for Caitlin. And saying that, if Caitlin opens that six up, it's giving her an easy that run. That eight's gone, yeah. She'll have to take the four other than... There's a bit of a safe there with behind the seven and the three. If she takes this four, she could she could pull a safe and get a, get a ball in hand. Yeah, in this situation here, she's on the back foot here. Yeah. Oh. And there, there it is. The table's open now. That eight, still a little bit tied up, but. Yeah, she can take the 12 here, and now yeah. would be the shot. 10's easier. And so is the nine, so she got options. Looks like she's eyeing up the nine ball. That 12 does go in that corner where the nine's about to go into. Okay, the 12 looks a little bit better now, better angle, if she wants it. Probably... Looks like it. The 15-11 would be better. Yeah, that, that 10 ball would be the money ball right there. Yeah, 15, 11, 12, 10, and then black. I think that's what she's doing here. Stay high on the 11 here. Perfect. Yeah, this is really important. She's got to get perfect position on this 12. She wants to be on the right side of this. She just needs to run forward a wee bit. Didn't need to punch Ooh, it. Oh, a little bit hard. She's going for the 12 last, maybe. Okay, it's going to All become right. a little bit of luck here. Hold on that six. Yeah, that's a good option, yeah. Looks like she might be running around the table a little bit. Yep. Like I said, a little bit of luck here. Oh, look no at that. No luck at all. 
Yeah, when she goes back and watches the video, she just should have run forward on the 11, just a little bit for the 12 in the middle, 10 yeah. and then black. When I seen her playing centre ball, I knew she would play it too hard. And she can get that eight in the centre pocket. She can hold on the three and the seven. I think that would be the way to go if she wants to clear this. Oh, she's gone and off. Very unlucky. Nice shot, nice point. Yeah. It could matter in the end. Okay, Caitlin's got a lot of work to do here. She's got a few clusters to work out, but she does need to be patient, I think. It's very easy to to um, go head hunting and go straight for the clearance, but you've got to be a little bit patient. You've got to play a little bit more strategic. And this is the practice game we give them, all the small ones on the table with the black. And they've got to try and clear. So if she's been doing her homework, she yep. should be pretty good. She just wants to free up that three and seven, I think. That's the main issue right there. Looks like she might be trying to save. Now he's going to screw back off the one here. Just a l lack of experience. Mm. She had plenty of options to do things. And later on, we will take her back to the uh, situation, show her what she should have done. Always a learning, learning curve, take them back to where they were and teach them. It's not an easy pot here, though. Confidence. Very nice Great shot. shot. Geraldine needed that one. They're now only 10 points behind Dio Blue. So a break and clear will bring them right back into the game. That's right. There's, we're on to the last round now, so three more games. A lot can happen in three more games. White ball's going flying off the table. Looks like she's lining up the three here. Yeah, the small one's in good position. They're all there, but... Ooh. She won't be happy about that. It's easy to rush those shots. When the shots look easy... Looks like Bailey's going for the four. He's missed that one too. The pressure seems to be getting to these guys, I think. It's good for them, you know, this young to feel that sort of pressure, eh? Yeah, that's right. I mean, they know they're on the TV table. Yeah, that puts a little bit more pressure on everyone.
She went for bigs, all right. I think that was the wrong option, but look at the 14, 12, and yeah. still up the top here. Does she stop now and say when? Very difficult. Does she carry on and put herself into trouble? Yeah, very difficult. I think she's going for the pot here, Jimmy. She's potted that nicely, though. open these two balls up, set up the top maybe, or double the 10. She went for the double, and she's brought that 10 right down there. It's not an easy frame for Alex. Now Bailey's got a couple problems as well, just that uh, six ball and the one ball. On. Yeah, nine's on. No, maybe not. Yes, yeah, so it's just turned into a tight game here. They're just chasing each other, I think. It's not easy. Good pot. Even the top hardened professionals will find it hard to clear this rack. She'll have to go for that nine ball in the corner. If it's on, dangerous though, could go in off. She's got to be very careful. Or even play it off the 10 if she wants. Yep. yep, there's the in off. It's not too bad. She's uh, made it hard for James to run out here. Or Bailey, I should say. Yeah, this is when uh, playing playing these rules um, comes to an advantage. Alex is quite a renowned safety player. Oh, he's made the cluster a little bit worse. This is a messy frame. the next shot, just a sec. Very messy here for Alex and Bailey. I don't think either of them really want to pot anything at this this point. If Alex pots the 14, that's her only ball that's out, but she could bump into that 10 and bring that 10 out. Okay, I don't think she'll pot this 14. Mm. Unless she plays it off the six ball. Gonna go in, go in hard. She's gonna hit that three. Oh no, that's not too that's bad. That's not a bad leave at all. 
Now she's got a worker there with the 14, can open up the other three balls that are on the rail. She's only got one shot at it though, Jimmy, I think. <coughs> the 10 could be on off the two. Hit the nine ball, 12 ball, push the 10 over. Yeah. But I think his three ball is on, so. I think so too, I think he can cut that in. Even if it goes off the two, it's a big pocket. Looks like that's what he's going for here. Oh no, oh no. All right, this is Alex's chance here. Pop that 14 and break out those balls on the rail. the one. I think that's enough. Yes, and I think you're going to need a riff. Jimmy's just gone over to have a look at the shot. Those who've just uh, tuned in to, to the stream, we're currently playing day two of the New Zealand, sorry, the 2018 New Zealand Secondary Schools National Eight Ball Championship. It's the grand final today. We've got Geraldine High School and Waikato Di Diocesan School for Girls, their blue team. Uh, they're playing for a spot in the grand final right now. So these guys are currently on the loser's side, which means they have one life. So if they go, the winner of this match will go into the final with one life, and they will have to beat their opponent twice for them to win the title. And how many more games we've got after this, uh, Miguel? I think we've got two more, I think, and maybe one, one or two more on the plate, and that's it. Okay, did he nominate that? Oh, it's a little bit messy now. What she can do is, that if she does pop that two using the nine, that nine will be over the pocket. She's called the ten in the left ten corner. In the corner, yeah. Fine cut. She's got it. Oh. That point might count at the end of it. Yeah. And what about matches or games after this match here, this game here? After this game here, we'll have two, two more, more games. Wow, it's going to be real close. Look at this. Okay, this is James, I mean, Bailey's chance here. Got Bailey going for the seven ball. He's missed that one. And he hasn't left Alex an easy shot either. She's still got her nine tied up by the two and the three. Very interesting. Does she go for the pot? Or does she try the safe that she tried before? Leave that nine over, that's a good shot. That's a good shot, a great shot. Now, Bailey does have the five on, not an easy shot. He's got a cue over that nine ball and it's very close to the rail, so this is not easy. Whenever you're jacking up on a shot, it decreases the accuracy of your shot. And, and these rules, if you move a ball, it's not counted as a foul? No, that's right, with the valley rules. 
If you accidentally move a ball with your hand or your cue, you ask your opponent if they would like to move it back or leave it where it is. Very interesting rule, but it encourages a lot of new players to play the game. And that's what we want to see. Yeah, I also think it takes away the arguments in a game, you know. If yeah. a little bit of somebody could just say, oh, he touched it with his clothing and, you know, what do you do when you've got no ref there? Yeah, that's right. So it does take away that, you know, the ref, you don't need a ref. If it's a closed shot. He's going for the, t the three. three in the corner. Look at that. Look, he's potted it. Great shot. Great shot. Now he's, he's left himself a hard shot on the five and the seven. Seven's quite easy. If he plays it slow, he'll get past that 12. If he plays it hard, he's going to run into it. Yep. He's got to get behind that 12. I think he's going to kick into it. There you yep. go. But he was he can still take this one yeah. out. He was just potting it. He can take this five. All he's got to do is pot this five, and it's... It's natural position on the eight, I think. Got to be careful he doesn't go too far over to the uh, left side of the rail. And you are watching a team's event, not a singles event. Very tense game. He's missed that. Hard shot, very hard shot. And this is not just an easy shot, is it? No. Plants are always a little bit risky, but this looks straightforward. Unless she plays the nine ball and runs around the back of the 12 ball. She's got that option. Yep. A lot of Q power here. Playing with a Revo shaft. Yeah, good shafts, those. How much are the Revo shafts these days? Look like she's screwing it. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a great shot. That's all right. She can play that 12 in the middle. Not an easy... Tough shot. Tough shot. She probably could have left it a little bit easier on herself, but uh, she can pot this. Percentages are not very high. No, that's right. She only has to focus on this one pot. Cue ball control. There isn't much needed for this one. But if she misses this, I'd, I'd say it could be all over for her. Yeah, she's going to go to the opposite corner near the five ball. Yeah. So she's got to screw it back and just, you know, if she misses, she has got a little bit of a safety shot. Doesn't want to sell the farm too early. No safety at all. Hang on. Wait, folks. Oh. Wait. No. No. Left it open. But in saying that, six ball's pretty good. Ten behind, so what would that leave him? Fifty-four, forty-eight. Yeah, be very close. Six balls in it. Two more games to go. He's on the wrong side of that five, though, Jimmy. Is there any issue here? Well, this will test his uh, queuing power. Yeah, that's right. And Eight. his line. He needs to just miss that twelve ball. It's a lot of side. And he's Great got shot. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Help from the jaw. Beautiful. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a six ball a six ball game. What a match. Oh. It just rattled on that one there. Very close matchup we have here. Two more games to go. And only six balls in it. We're just sorting out who breaks here. 
We have Julia playing Caitlin. Caitlin's break. Okay, so what does Caitlin need to do here? <laughs> She's got, she's got she a few balls. Game. Yeah, she, if she wins the game, then that could be it. Yeah, I think so. Just had a bit of a guess, and I think. Okay, there's a little bit of clusters there to uh, contend with. Yeah, I see you stressing at home, Sharon. A very close match here. matches have been quite tight and tough yeah she hasn't really had an open table to you know she's she looks very composed though she looks like she's she's calm or as calm as she can be yeah, and just being new to this the game you know you got to work out how to get balls out there's a lot of things to learn about eight ball moving balls around not to go early so there's so many things to learn yeah, I, I don't think you can ever really master the sport. But time is on her side. Just missed that pot. Where's it going? A bit of a messy frame here, guys. Good touch there. That's a nice shot. Play the 14 off the 5, if she can see that shot. Oh, it was on. She, she should have played it off the 5 to move the 5 and hit yeah. from the pocket. She might have and to double this. that just comes this. through experience later on. She will learn those sort of shots. She will double this 11. It's not a bad shot. Yeah, that's a good shot. Get into the open nearer pocket. Put the pressure on the other player. And she can use that to bump out that nine if, if she needs to. I'm not sure if that nine goes in the bottom left corner here, but.
Okay, ball in hand. I think she just uh, nicked the nine on the way through as well. Still tough for Caitlin to finish here. If she can pick a good angle, put the 11 and open up the nine ball. Yeah, I think that's the go. shot. Just go for the balls. Let's just get those points. That's what it's all about. So if they lose this 10-7 or 10-6, what would that be? I 10? think they might only need... Oh... Well, got unlucky there, but opened up a can of worms now. She must hit the nine ball and... She's got to go for that kick, eh? Hey? She's going to go for that kick in the middle, I think. Yep. And if she gets this, she should be underway for the eight. Oh, a little bit firm, I think. Yeah, too hard. They played a lot of bottom, which straightened the white ball right up. Should be a straightforward finish here. They all connect to each other. Seven and six will probably be the first to go. Yeah. Seven, six, yeah. three, one. Okay, she's going one first. Self shot for the six, maybe, or the three. And then she's going to be in a bit of trouble. Her best bet would have been the seven first, six, and then it would have been all there, but it's still all there. Yeah, it's still all right. I think she's got to get the seven after this, and then the six. Oh. She's in no man's land, could be. I think the six might be just on. Yeah, I think you're right. Pretty close. Oh, I don't know. Yep, yeah. she'll have to follow that through. Even if she misses, you know, she's going to leave Caitlin a hard shot. But that's perfect. There you go. Great shot. Well played. She sinks the eight. It's game. Oh, no. Oh no, we've got a problem here. She's forgotten the patch. She's forgotten that patch. She's lucky. She forgot the patch. She's very lucky. She's forgotten that patch. She's just she realised. Really yeah, she's very lucky. Yeah. She forgot the patch. That was very, very lucky there. Caitlin's left with a tough shot, but... If she she just needs to focus on this pot. She's got to hit this. She's got to hit this perfect. She, oh, I hope she's not playing bottom on this shot. She might go in off here. Definitely an off. Yeah. She's mostly an off. That's probably as safe as you could leave it. I think, Jimmy. <laughs> That's cuttable. That's cuttable. Oh, yeah, but that's <laughs> the best, no, the best place you could leave it, I think. Just got to watch out for the in-off. Yeah, in-off in the middle. Oh, good good shot. Great game. Well, we've got a match here. Last what a game. Frame, last match. The score 58 60. See if she would have got that one ball, then that could have been a draw. Yeah, hey. yeah, that's right. Seven, yeah. 
This is it, guys. The winner of this game takes it home. Two very competitive players for this last game. The winner of this match takes it home. Or goes to the final. Yeah, that's right, sorry. Hey, Manfield, good to see you watching. Good pot there. She hasn't left herself much. Let's see what she can do. She might play that. I think she's going to play that 14. Big pocket with the 12 there. So if she hits it right, it should go in. Chase, it's Miguel and Jimmy. <laughs> Everyone thinks I sound like Logan Jimmy. Okay, left a uh, little bit tough here for Alex to start off with a easy ball. There's no ball there that's easy. Hey Daniel, good to see you watching, mate. So, where can she go? Probably play the two yeah, ball. Yeah, very close match here. Two ball safety. Just watch out for the in off. Good shot here. Not too bad. Could have left that three ball or the both balls potable. Even when you play little shots like that, make sure you leave the ball in the right position. <laughs> oh, I see how it is, Jace. <laughs> I think the plant is what she'll be looking at. It's not an easy shot, this one. Oh, she's hit that very well. Oh, she didn't go for that one. She didn't call it. Okay, this is Alex's chance here. It's all open. Yeah. Balls are in good position. This is it. Okay, this is going to be the winning position here. If she can get on one of those balls down the back there. Preferably the four, maybe the five. Yeah, I think that, that if she gets that four out, that leaves that one. Handy for the right corner, top right corner. Just got to watch out she doesn't go down too far. Ooh, okay, she's okay. left the four. Now I wonder if she, uh, yeah, she'll have to cut the four here, Jimmy, and that one should hopefully sit over that top corner pocket, top left corner pocket. <laughs> hi, Carmen. <laughs> oh, whoops, hi, Emily. <laughs> My favourite person in the world. Ooh, that's a big title. She's 
got a tough shot here, Jimmy. What would you do here? Probably just nick the one ball and come back up and leave the white ball where it is now. Yeah. Try and this, this ball here is not a good ball to play. Just trying to put it in front of hers. Trying to tie it up. Bad. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Now Lydia's best bet would be to play the 13 off the 12. Yeah, that has to come later on. I don't later think it's on. on now. Yeah. yeah, later on. That has to be the shot. She held. She'll have to play that shot to win the game. It's a bit hard to get get back on the right side of this 13, so it'll be really interesting to see what she does. Okay, can we call a ref over there? Yep, I think we need a ref. I'm not sure if she's going for that pot or not. Is she going for the yeah. double kiss? She's going to double kiss it in, maybe? Well, tr tricky shot. It's a very tricky hard shot. shot. Oh, very good save. Very good save. Okay, so if Alex doesn't get out of this, her best option would be to push the black up near the mm -hmm. end rail here, make it a little bit hard for her. I don't think that's the right shot there. Okay, now let's see how... That eight was probably blocking that line a little bit, I think. It was a bit dangerous to go for that kick. Yeah, well, yeah, that's why I said push the eight up onto the yeah. rail, then, uh, you know, makes it a little bit harder. But in saying that, has she got enough experience to yeah. know how to get out of the situation? That's right. I think the right shot here would be to go on the other side of the 12 and just move the five closer to the one, make a little gap there. Okay, she's going to play the same shot again, a little nick. She's trying to move it out. We're very close to the table at the moment, so it's very hard. We have to keep quite quiet. We don't want to be giving these guys any advice from the outside. Okay, same situation. I think Alex might be able to nick that one. And that's just through lack of not playing these rules. She does not know what to do. Mm. Good leave. Okay, this is it. This is where she could leave Alex really tied up. Just do the same shot she's mm -hmm. been playing. Rail so first. Yeah, just make sure that 12 comes out to be in a potable position. It's probably better if she goes rail first, Jimmy. That's not too bad. Alex could could hit the five and do a little screw back. It's a hard shot here. She could go back off the back push and push the twelve in, so it's not potable again. She doesn't want to touch the five. No. Intentional foul there. She's given her the ball in hand. Okay, like I said, she's just got the lack of experience not knowing what to do in this situation. I blame Jojo on that. <laughs> You're listening, Jojo? 
What what you'd want to do here is create a, a bit of space between that 12 and the 5 ball. Because if she keeps doing this, we're just going to go back and forth. So it's very no, difficult. No, not yet. I think she's potable here. If you she think so? Slowly, yeah. Even if she hits it soft, she's going to leave that 5 ball. She doesn't want to leave the pocket open for the 5 ball to move through. Oh, that's changed it up a little bit, hasn't it, Jimmy? Okay, and Alex knows what to do in this situation. Yep. She'll just play the safety. That's right, she's got to call safe. Even if she pots that one, gets the shot. Actually, the five's on. Oh, she's going for it now. This is the money shot here. Oh. Interesting. Just drop this in and stay in behind the black ball. Yeah. A little bit of an awkward, awkward situation here. She's not quite sure how to. Perfect shot. Great shot. Making sure they put the patch on this time. Yeah, better shot for Alex. Probably would have been to touch the one and let her, you know, play off the rail, down the rail, or whatever she has to do. And then she could have had the ball in hand if she missed. Put the pressure back on Julia, but she went for the finish. <laughs> Great game. Yeah, what a matchup. Okay, we'll see you in the finals. About half an hour. Yep. After lunch. So that's hour. Hamilton Boys High. Lions versus Geraldine College. Or Geraldine High School, sorry.